Um, right, so hello everyone, I'm Rob Sides from The Outside View and I want to tell you a story that's important to me. Now my story starts in a pork and beans factory in small town America with a security guard. Now this security guard had very little interest in security and absolutely no interest in pork and beans. What he was actually interested in was baseball and more tangibly the statistics behind baseball. You see, for James, numbers weren't just zeros or ones, ratios or percentages. They were actually far purer than that. Because if you understood numbers correctly, you couldn't just tell if a team won or if a team lost, but crucially, why it had happened. And James spent his entire life trying to quantify what drove elite performance in baseball. And, he was, and what he found was that the numbers that baseball teams used were completely irrelevant to actually what drove winning or losing in a baseball game. And James spent his entire life trying to quantify elite performance and then was ignored, like most pioneers, for 25 years. Until a chap called Michael Lewis wrote a book called Moneyball. And then every single team was fumbling over themselves trying to recruit a data scientist. And the, perhaps the purest embodiment of the data revolution is a chap called Sig Mejdal, who is basically the equivalent of your HR department. He is quite literally a rocket scientist, and he has the best title in the whole world, Director of Decision Sciences. He has a great beard as well. Um, so, uh, where my clients, so, so, and I just wanted to sort of tell you why that's relevant to me. Now, I, I ran my own recruitment business, and I'd read about Bill James when I was 18, and I'd completely forgotten about him. But where Bill James had the wrong statistics, I didn't have any statistics at all. I was expecting an HR director to say that she wanted a candidate with an email sentiment analysis score of 63, a talk time ratio of 84, and a close ratio of 63. And that never happened. And what ended up happening was they asked me to, for someone who looked like a sales director. That's pretty difficult because, as you'll see, you all look different. And what ended up happening was um, where my clients saw a problem of selection, I saw it as a problem of prediction. And the fact is that with prediction is like anything. With the right tool, you can improve. If you can replace gut instinct with data, you get a huge advantage. And you know how I know this? Because really smart people told me. I spent the last 12 months traveling all around the world interviewing the smartest minds of the 21st century, people like Daniel Kahneman, who wrote um, an amazing book and won the Nobel Prize for his groundbreaking work on how to mitigate bias using data. We met the quants behind Moneyball and a number of other Silicon Valley CEOs and put this whole heap of research into a documentary for 200 prospective clients at the Barbican um, in April. We were also featured in the Financial Times, the Guardian, the Daily Mail, and a number of other publications that none of you will have ever heard of. But let's just say this. This face is pretty big in Japan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to prove that there's a gap between what science knows and what business does. Um, if, the last, if the last 10 years have been defined by data collection, we think the next will be defined by data prediction. We think that the, we think that the era of the CRM is effectively over. The Outside View is a software platform that uses machine learning to predict a business's future. We're data agnostic, unlike some other CRM companies or other competitors of ours in the Silicon Valley like Cloud9 and Lattice Engines who just use structured data from CRMs. We actually use unstructured data from various sources like phone logs, calendar feeds, emails and swipe cards. It's quite similar actually to Miles who was talking about the Quantify Self. That's for people, this is for business. Our first client has a hundred million pound turnover, they're paying us which is always good and my CTO over there somewhere has a double first from Oxford and a PhD in machine learning. Simon Jones is our chairman um, who helped David Cleveley build Analysis Mason from 5 million to 30 million. Our first product seeks to quantify elite performance of sales sources, not by personality, but by activity. Our sales application shows a sales director in real time, not just who is performing well or badly, but crucially, like Bill James, tells them why. And our pipeline predictor uses machine learning to predict if a deal will close or if a deal won't, based on data and science rather than intuition and gut feel. In short, we're trying to reimagine every department, every decision, every process with data.
We want to place gut feel with facts, intuition with prediction, I think with I know. Because if we are what we measure, shouldn't we start measuring what we want to become? Now, someone smart once said that technology is the closest thing that comes to magic. And I'm not promising you magic, and I'm not promising you a miracle. But in the spirit of Bill James, Kevin, I'm promising you a movement. Thank you very much. <laughs>